Hi, welcome back. In this session, let us see about SOAP UI workspace and how to export import test cases and share uh, your test cases with your colleagues. And then we'll talk about deleting workspace. I'm Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. Workspace basically is the information of all the projects in your SOAP UI that you see in this console here in this pane in SOAP UI. So basically it's stores information about the SOAP UI project. The workspace will store information about the SOAP UI project. Let's see a workspace here, a SOAP 5.5 workspace that I saved it in my local system. So I will try to open the workspace and uh, let me show you. So if you see the workspace in here, it's basically the location of the project, project name rest countries in 4, 4 and then the path to the project where it is stored in my system. That's all is there in the workspace in SOAP UI. It's only the information about the project. So at any point of time, you can have only one workspace in your SOAP UI project. And of course, you can have multiple workspaces in your system if you want to work on multiple APIs between development, testing, and all those things, all those other production environment APIs, something like that. You can actually create workspace using this option here new workspace once you go to the file and new workspace you can create a let me create a soap UI workspace demo and okay and let me save this in my desktop in soap UI workspace demo and save it save all projects before switching workspace yes and it creates and it opens up uh, this workspace for me, the newly created one. So let's go ahead and add one project. Let's try with our rest countries API only. Let me just paste it here and okay. So it creates the rest project for me in here. And then uh, I do a save, uh, save, yes. And let me save this in the desktop as well. Same thing, save. So all of these are saved in the saved in my desktop in here i can switch between workspace by going to the file and switch workspace in here i just beneath the new workspace switch workspace i can go back to my old uh, workspace computer c drive and here and yes so I, I now I came back to my old workspace, so 5.5 workspace. So if I delete this workspace, basically it will not affect much. I'll show you that in a minute. So before that, let's um, let me show you how to export and uh, import test cases in SOAP UI. For example, you want to share your test case with your other team members and all. You can uh, do that using uh, the export option. You can actually export the test suite test case and project so best option i suggest is exporting the whole project we'll show you why so for example i let me export this test suite to demo here i can right click on the test suite and I can do an export let me also save this in my desktop and i just name this as test suite to demo whatever is by there by default and i save it in my local system desktop so it's saved now okay and then i go to the another workspace for example you share this with your colleagues and they want to import it in their system they they can open their soap ui console and they have to so let's try to mimic that let me go to another workspace let's go to the desktop and let's go to my workspace which i just created now and i come back to my other workspace which i created just now and I try to import that, so import the test suite. So I cannot import that in the project level, uh, sorry, in the workspace level because that's a test suite, test suite export. So I have to go to the project level and then I can do a right click and I can do a import test suite in here. Uh, here is the option test. So right click, import test suite and the desktop the name was test suite 2 demo and i click open so the main problem here is actually you whatever test apis that was inside that 
test suite to demo it is expecting those apis to be present in my existing rest project so that's what it's asking me to select the api here so since i had only one api in my existing uh, so project in here i had only one api which i ported so that's why it's asking me is this the one or not it should be this api or not so i click an ok and i click select method in this suite okay and then there is another test api which is again using another api but since i don't have that other api imported in my project in here it's again asking me is this the one same same one again and again so basically you need to have i'll do a cancel because there are multiple apis which are used and so every time it's asking for the same api which is exported imported in here so i'll just cancel all of this so basically for importing a test suite you need to have all the apis whatever is there in the test suite so that becomes a problem if you want to share it with your colleagues they would need to have all the apis same apis in their project existing so that's not a good approach so for that uh, let we usually do an export of the whole project i i'll show you that let me switch to my other workspace and smart here okay okay so i come back here so now you see that okay now i came back to my uh, other workspace the old one and uh, so i showed you how to export a test suite let that's the best thing uh, i said was to export the project rather than the test suite itself so uh, for that let's select the project and you can actually export the whole project here so uh, right click on the project and do a export project and you can go to the desktop and just name this as instead of workspace you can just name this as so UI project and delete this one and save it in the my desktop and let's go to the other switch to the other workspace which i created which was in my desktop and so UI workspace demo and open yes now you can import the whole project in here okay so i need to export the zip file it is it is actually a zip file in here so uh, when i did an export it exported uh, with the zip file so so i come here and i do an import packed project and i come to desktop and here is the zip file and open it and it's asking where you want to unpack this i say it's on the desktop only and i do a save and the same gores project came in here with all the test suite and all so and if you see in the desktop it would have opened it here this uh, this is the project uh, which got opened in here gores project and then this is how you can uh, export and import a project it's easier to do the project level because uh, the other person don't need to have all the apis so most of the time they would not know what all apis are used in the test cases or test suite so it's best approach to export the whole project and share it and they can import it in their workspace and so that you get all the apis and all the test cases and they can run whatever they want to run so that's about uh, exporting and importing projects uh, in sobi way and then there is an option of closing project for example if you have too many projects open here and you get it gets cluttered and all you can actually go ahead and right click and do a close project say project yes and you can do a close project here and uh, which will actually disable this project for your work and you can of course anytime come back and right click and do a open open project which again enables it and you can work on it or can add test cases something like that okay so as i was saying earlier for deleting if you delete the workspace and if you still have the project here gores project it's here and if you delete the workspace you can still use this project xml and import it in another so by or another workspace so let me show you that let before that let me switch 
my workspace to the other one. Kind of fine. Yes. Okay. I I came back to the other my other project. So five dot five workspace project. Now I can go ahead and delete my workspace from my uh, Windows machine. Uh, sorry, from my desktop, and it's here. So I can delete this workspace, but I still have my project lying around in my system. So this project actually can be imported in any other compatible SOAP UI version. My version is 5.5 AV or Colleague, or you have another version, you can import again, import the same project in your SOAP UI. So for that, uh, let me do one thing. Let me let me rename this existing one soap ui project original i just rename this otherwise uh, it's going to conflict with the same name here and then i come back to go to file and you can actually import the project by going to the location sorry go to desktop and uh, goddess project is here goddess project and you can open it and it shows up in here it has all the information in uh, in this project and it has got all everything it didn't delete anything but we delete remove the workspace so deleting a workspace doesn't affect your project unless you delete the project you are fine you can save it share it or you can use it in any other ci cd tools yeah. so that's all in this session thank you i hope it was helpful to you thank you